School district officials are speaking out after Monday's stabbing at Grand Junction High School. They want to reassure concerned parents and address school safety. Kirk's 5's Adrian Thomas is live from the Grand Junction campus and he has the latest details. Adrian. Logan, Logan, Monday's, Monday's stabbing left parents concerned, especially because this was the second time in a matter of two weeks that there was a violent assault involving Grand Junction High School students. One District 51 official says that one reason why parents should not be concerned moving forward is because that these were isolated incidents and not threatening to the entire student body. Another District 50, 51 official says that parents, that, that parents can take action by supporting a bond measure 4A, which will ask voters to approve a $189 million bond measure that would include building a brand new Grand Junction High School. In both cases were an incident between a couple students and not really um, generalized to the entire student population. And there will always be conflicts. Unfortunately, we would hope that none of them take the kind of violent actions that we saw. A brutal physical assault off campus and two weeks later a stabbing on Grand Junction High School's South Lawn. District officials say the topic of school safety is very important in the aftermath of these incidents. If you have a closed campus, you have a facility that can have the kids stay on campus, things like that would be less likely to happen if they happen at all. Monday's stabbing happened right across the street on Grand Junction High School's South Lawn. With this being the second violent assault within a matter of weeks involving Grand Junction High School students, Doug Levinson says it's now more important than ever for the community to come together to ensure school safety. We have 71 entry points. Kids can uh, leave, leave the building and, and not be monitored or staff may not know where they are. Where you have a single point of entry, you're not coming, going, in, going out of the building or coming in the building unless someone is aware of that. Dr. Circo says that parents should not be concerned moving forward due to how fast Monday's stabbing was contained between school authorities and law enforcement. I would hope people can take some, you know, kind of, you know, comfort in the fact that everything was contained on a very quick basis, both from internal procedures as well as external type support structures so that all things could District be resolved District officials say quickly. the juvenile male in Monday, the juvenile male that was the victim in Monday's stabbing is expected to make a full recovery. First on the Western Slope and live near Grand Junction High School, I'm Adrian Thomas, KREX 5 News. Logan